<laughs> Sketchy. Hey, this is Josh. Welcome back to Sketchy. More Disney art. You know I love it. Uh, an unsung character. Not an unknown character, but I don't know if that uh, he gets the recognition he deserves. This is Mr. Toad. Uh, today just felt like drawing Toad. Sometimes you gotta draw a Toad. You know what actually prompted this was a... <laughs> A thread that was bouncing around on Twitter investigating the mystery of Mr. Toad's pants and why they were sometimes gray and sometimes red in uh, official art, in screenshots, and then uh, with a pretty conclusive uh, resolution that uh, uh, his uh, pants are red. No, his pants are gray and his underwear is red. Uh, which makes sense. That's kind of an old-timey uh, kind of a uh, you know, color scheme. And so uh, the funny thing, though, is that then there are... Within the film, you can actually track when his, his trousers get pulled off at some point when he's getting thrown off of a car or something like that. And then uh, so there's a brief moment when he's standing in his long johns, basically, his red long underwear, uh, just from the waist down. But the funny thing is that there's then lots of official character art and pins and things like that at the parks and elsewhere where they just choose to to color his pants red and so i guess those are those are instances of him in his underwear <laughs> that's all uh anyway that just made me think hey what a great character what a fun design and uh i want to spend some time drawing mr toad today and so that's what i did yet again this is kind of an amalgamation of a few different uh moments and, and pieces of art and I uh, I feel like there's a little bit of a Chuck Jones character in in what I drew here kind of in the smirk and in the kind of boxy way that the fingers are drawn it wasn't intentional it just kind of came out that way and um, this was a little bit of I don't know it was a little rough getting there but I'm, pl I'm very pleased with the result and then you'll see at the end I threw in a kind of a uh, an extra little joke um, which you may predict if you see that the title of this video but uh, here I am, you know, again, there's a lot to, the rough sketch on the bottom is just a guide, and then you have the opportunity to find the finished shapes, but I don't want it to be too perfect. I like the inks to be a little bit sketchy as well, and I, I had a lot of trouble with this hand. I think I finally arrived at something acceptable. I don't know, maybe I'll erase the whole thing and do it again. I don't think so, since I'm moving on to his outfit. Um, but... Uh, yeah, Mr. Toad and Ichabod from this weird time when Disney, I guess, was saving money and doing a lot of these anthology features and making, uh, you know, short subjects and stitching them together. Yeah, see, I did. I'm doing the hand again. Um, but a fun film, the Ichabod, the, Sleep, the Sleepy Hollow short is wonderful. Some of the best human character design in Disney history. I'll probably visit those maybe closer to the fall. Um, and have some fun there. Uh, I love all the characters in Mr. Toad as well. I, I had the idea to do a series and do Moly and, and the other um, characters, but this was all I had time for on this particular day. A uh, rather typical coloring process here for my um, Disney artwork. Graphite pencil brush and, and uh, enlarged so that I get the texture that I want. If I had a nickel for every time I explained that. If you're a faithful viewer of Sketchy, you must be intimately familiar with my coloring technique. Bless you. So, the red coat, and of course, I'm going to go with the gray pants, because I'm going to give Mr. Toad his dignity here. He's not in his underwear. Uh, not, in, not in my portrayal. little slightly turquoisey blue green for that tie and there's those gray pants and that just about does it for mr toad and now this is a complete afterthought what i'm about to do here uh if i planned this earlier i could have executed it so much better but i literally finished the drawing of mr toad and i was like oh you know what would be funny is if i meme this up and so I quickly here scratched out a little toad. Toad, one of those really deceptively simple designs, the face. 
those those eyes and smile seem like the simplest shapes in the universe but getting them right you'll see that i just draw them 18 times and even in the end i wasn't completely satisfied but i had to be done and i knew that this was an afterthought i didn't pose toad properly mr toad properly so i knew that this wouldn't really work and i just i, I did this as like an afterthought like a comment on facebook after the fact uh, after posting the picture of mr toad but i wanted to recreate the uh, the spider-man meme i even thought about putting you know uh other characters named toad in there maybe a battle toad or isn't there an x-men named toad i thought about doing something like that but uh Again, I didn't plan it out from the start, so I would have had to re revisit the Mr. Toad. And you'll see that I actually do. I'm actually going to make a minor change to the Mr. Toad picture to get this to work. But um, I don't know. Just a, a spot of fun. But um, not as well executed as I might have liked. This makes for a fun picture of, of Toad. Uh, I'll keep this in my back pocket if I need to. You know, post some Nintendo art. I already have pictures of Luigi and Link. I think I'm due for some Donkey Kong art. I love the character designs in DK. And, of course, I've, I've got to draw a blue toad. Some very disturbing speculative images out there of what toad looks like with his hat off. Maybe you want to Google those, or maybe you don't want to Google those. Just about done, and then I don't know if I even bothered to put in the process here of just extending Mr. Toad's arm. Now, there it is. You can just kind of see that I very quickly moved it. Okay, that's it. Bye.